hey YouTube, what's really good? I'm in Vivid Color, and this is the third episode of my Pokemon Moon playthrough. And if you are enjoying this content, please go ahead right now, go down, scroll down just a little bit, and demolish that like button because I am so excited to be bringing you this content, and I want to know if you're just as excited to be watching it. So that being said, if you haven't seen the last episode, the link is going to be in the description down below. Go check it out. Uh, really not much happened, to be honest with you. Uh, someone's knocking on our door currently, and that's what we're going to find out. Um, if you did miss the last episode, I will spoil that I caught some Pokemon, but I don't think any of these are permanent additions to my team. I have Quinn, the Picky Peck, Sally, the Caterpie, and Star Trash, the Ladybug. Uh, I'm not really going to go through with their moves and natures, just because I don't think I'm going to use them, to be honest with you. So... Uh, currently someone's knocking on our door and it's not Professor Kakui because he would already be in our house. So, Lily. I thought it was Lily because I'm pretty sure Shorty has a crush on us, to be honest with you. To be completely honest. Oh, um, the professor said, hey there, Lily, bring me that great new trainer. Woo! I wonder, that's, yeah, the professor definitely said that, 100%. So, I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab. If you come with me, it's uh, it's this way. Oh, let me move my 3DS down here a little bit. Yeah. I need a chair with armrests. So, uh, I am, I'm now officially <laughs> taking recommendations for chairs with armrests. Don't just recommend every DX Racer model. Recommend something reasonable. I don't want to spend $7,000. I know they're not that much. I don't want to spend infinity dollars. They're, uh, they are that much. Fact. On a chair. Um, I just need something with, with armrests so that I can rest my arms and play my games. <clears throat> Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it all on anything too silly. I wonder how much she's giving us because I feel like most games we start off with something like uh, 2,000 2, 2, to 5,000 I think is kind of normal. Oh, I should be reading this. Eh, it's, it's kind of irrelevant. She's talking about us making friends and we're meeting new people. <clears throat> Th thank you. My name's Lily. It's very nice to meet you. You're Vivid's mom, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> Looks like it's finally your turn to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out with Rowlet, and don't be gone too long. Ralph! <laughs> that Meowth kills me. He's gonna get picked on, right? He's definitely getting picked on for not being in a low one Meowth. You have a very nice mother, don't you? She's like, right. We should get going. I'll show you to the professor's research lab now. Thank you. You can show me around, because you definitely have a crush on me. You can only reach the professor's lab by treading through the tall grass. He says the research moves better when Pokemon is sur are surrounding him. Since I'm not a trainer, I have to rely on repels all the time. You do know that using repel keeps a Pokemon from attacking, right? And, and Nebby. Oh, I mean Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. <laughs> it seems to have a very strange power. It used its power to save me once when I was in danger, but some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and the Kahunahala know... Only the Professor and Kunahala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge, please? Yes, I get it. But I mean, like, when are we going on our first date? We can go to the beach. All right, fight me, idiot. I'm, I'm, I just, I want to get some members to add to the team for sort of like a permanent amount of time. A semi-permanent is what I'll say, because there's so many new Pokemon and so many new Alolan Pokemon that I'm probably going to get a little excited and switch it around a little bit. Like this little dude. I'd catch a Grubbin. I don't know that I'd use it, but I'd catch one. Yo, is this thing already part electric? Because if so, that's going to be real annoying when this peck doesn't just decimate its life. Yes, no, obviously not. No, you are not part electric. I guess that's its, uh, what's its middle evolution? Charger bug? Charger bug? Little battery looking thing? It looks straight up like, uh, there's, there's a specific monster from Monster Entry. Actually, I've been thinking about it, and a lot of these Pokemon look like, uh, straight up Monsters from Monster Rancher. If you've ever, never played that game, it's an it's an old game. The first version of it came out on PlayStation 1, I think. Not the new PlayStation 1, like the original PlayStation. <laughs> or, no, Xbox is the one with one. Not the PlayStation 4. <laughs> the PlayStation 1, the PS1. Uh, that's when 
Monster Rancher came out, and it was a really cool game with really interesting mechanics, but a lot of these new Pokemon, I swear, they look like monsters from Monster Rancher. Uh, Rockruff's evolution, Lycanroc. Perfect example. If you've seen a shiny midday Lycanroc, then you know, or if you've seen a shiny midday Lycanroc, and you know what Tiger of the Wind from Monster Rancher look like, then you know that they are very comparable. Oh, that's cool. There's Slowpoke in this grass. My thought process is kind of all over the place right now. Uh, I wonder if this thing can... It's Yeah, it's a Slowpoke. It can eat a Leafage. It's bulky, right? Also, we have a bad nature for this. Oh, wait, that didn't even do half. Whew. Whew. When your super effective move... Super effective stab move doesn't even do half to a Pokemon. I'm upset. Okay. I'm gonna leaf this guy again. And then we're gonna catch this Slowpoke. Okay. That's good enough. Oh, this Pokeball better catch. This Pokeball better catch 100% of the time. I am not trying to fall asleep right now. Not even close. Can I move this real quick? There. Technical issue solved. How many Pokeballs do I have? Eight. Oh, this Pokeball better catch. Let me turn on my capture codes real quick. Let me match the A and B button. Okay. Yo, I didn't see the... When uh when you catch a Pokemon, it pops up with a little, like, stylized Pokeball? That's really cool. Oliver grew to level 10. Man, you do it, Oliver. You do it big. Alright, so what are we calling you? You're basically Derpy. Dopey? Are you a male? Are you a male Slowpoke? I can't... Dopey... I was gonna call you Dopey. I didn't know you were the Dopey Pokemon. Why do I never read Pokedex entries? A low and home cooking involves drying slowpoke tails and simmering them into a salty stew. That's sad. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call you Dopey. Like the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. There's one called Dopey, right? It's the one that sneezes a lot, I think. No, that's Sneezy. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about Disney trivia. I'm gonna get out trivia all day. I'm gonna move on from that topic immediately. All right, come on, fight me, idiot. I just want another Pokemon that I like. I really like, so I can start spreading my experience out. I don't like just, you know, going balls to the walls and leveling one Pokemon up. Wingle, that's interesting. Yo, so Wingle and Pelipper got buffed this generation, right? I'm pretty sure that Wingle and Pelipper, I, maybe it's just Pelipper, but I'm pretty sure it's both of them. They've been given the hidden ability Drizzle, which is pretty rad. Uh, I don't know how that's going to play. I know that uh, in VGC, it's definitely something. Since in the VGC, you can only use Alolan, like Pokemon in the Alolan Pokedex. So it's it's worth noting that Pelipper gets Drizzle, but also I think it got a small special attack buff. I've been sort of like trolling a few of the spoilers on like Twitter, and I've been watching different YouTube videos. I'm trying not to spoil the entire game for myself, but little tweaks and adjustments like that I don't mind looking at. I can't believe I just noticed at the, like, sort of towards the middle of last episode that a care button pops up at the end of battles. I just don't really want to waste my time cleaning off my little Rowlet in between battles, you know what I mean? It's sad, because I don't want him to be dirty. What is going on in this place? Oh yeah, Rockruff, let's go. Give it all you've got, cousin. My body is ready. <laughs> What's the name of the dude from Nintendo that said that? He's he's one of the... I think he's he's sort of like the face for Nintendo North America. Reggie? My body is Reggie? Woo! Why? Ah, uh, there they... Ah, <clears throat> uh, there they go again. The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique, unique charm, as I think you might agree. I've actually been uh, imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. <laughs> Yo, this Rockruff is giving Pro Professor Kukui the work, currently. The Professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we have to patch the roof again. And I just washed this lab coat, finally gotten it clean. Now it'll be in shreds. And I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy a new one. We should probably go in there before he does any more damage. I'm still waiting for you to give me that bag so I can hold all of my non-existent bowling balls. 
Yo, what's the Snubbles sitting there staring at the Beware's pre-evolution? Is it like Stuffy? Stuffin? Stuffle? Stuffle. Stuffy? It's, it's, it's something like that. Hey there, Vivid. Thanks for getting it for me, Lily. Of course. However I can <clears throat> however I can be a help. I'm supposed to be your Oh, that's Lily. Of course, however I can be a help. I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? Rock 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 <clears throat> rock, rock I cannot I can't I can't life currently. Rock Ruff's moves were just so stylish and I was making good progress in my research. Say vivid, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? Okay, I feel you. Now, what do you think? What do you think of the place? Oh, so what do you think of the place? <clears throat> so, what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? Huh? But that's why I called you over here, eh? It finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. You see, there's a Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. Oh, we get the Rotom Dex! Finally! Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up resonance in machines. Oh, it's... Rotom's adorable, though. Like, high-key, Rotom's adorable. Yeah, buddy. And to put all that crazy skill of Rotom's to work, the next generation of Pokedex is... It's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this. Body specifically developed for it. Man, this text is tripping me up. A whole new way for people and Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties in the world so far. And now, if I power up your Pokedex with the parts that I just got in... By parts, does he mean a Rotom? <laughs> That's Rotom's cry. <laughs> by parts, he legitimately just means a Rotom. Hey now, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Zzz. Rotom. Here, boy. I powered up your favorite Dex. Give Vivid here a helping hand, will ya? Oh! Yo, so we have a Rotom Dex now, yeah? Oh, that's too cool. This is the best Pokedex we've ever had. Look at its face! It's on the bottom screen and he's talking to me! He said be gentle with the goods! See, Vivid, now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. And how would this help exactly? Vivid hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him the special Rotom Dex to help navigate around. Thanks. Yeah, this is a this is a best Pokedex a professor's ever given me. Ten out of ten. Would come to this uh, lab again, probably, maybe. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom. I mean, if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Oh, what's up, pal? Alola. 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 The salty <clears throat> the salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Why did we run over here? What's so dope over here? What are you doing? Currently. Is that a loft? That's awesome. No, it's not. It's private. The professor's been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or Pokemon who needs help, you just help them, right, Vivid? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. But what's up there that's so private? So, Vivid, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Vivid, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kind of cute. It's, it's hella cute, man. Get it right. Alright, there are some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. Let's get to it. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the island. Oh, I... Okay. The Island Challenge Champion. Woo! It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola, and a Kahuna for each one of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahunas as worthy, it's said you must clear seven trials. Vivid. I want you and Rowlet to get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out your Pokemon's strengths, yeah? Then I'll do it. Yeah, now we're hyped. I was going to play kind of cool and casual, but now we're hyped. Oh yeah, someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves. I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your Island Challenge. Here, everybody on the Island Challenge, everybody on the Island Challenge gets one of these Island Challenge amulets. 
Okay. It's like a gym. Is it like an island challenge collector? Like, do we get a little a piece for each island? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cause it's like electric fire psychic ghost, right? Which are the types of the birds. The I don't know what it's called, but the dancer bird. <clears throat> I got one from Gramps, too. All right, then, Vivid. You, too. How? Get a move on. Okay. So we can leave, right? Stop talking to me. To the trainer school. You've got to go learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer through Pokemon battling. It's a long road to become the Island Challenge champion, and the trainer school is the first step. Now get off to it, cousin. I just kind of assumed that was going to be the end. Sometimes I improv these. Improv? Yeah, that's the right word. <clears throat> I'm good. I just want to play with my Pokemon. I mean, uh, train with them. Right. The Island Challenge. So is this how the people of Alola connect with the world around them? Lily. You'll take care of Vivid, yeah? Until he gets used to Rotom, help, his, help him find his way around. Yo, the entire time, these three little Pokemon were just running around playing, and it was adorable. Yo, what? Can we can we get a peek up here? So we got a, we got a bed, a dresser, a little, like, ottoman type, some cushions. On, can I just go up here? Oh, it's, it's not private at all. She's got a Clefable plushie. She's got a makeup bag. And a lens case. Uh, there are several of these books. They look pretty advanced. Is this a, a live Murkrow? Crow! Crow! There's a live Murkrow in here. Oh, she doesn't have a bed. She just has a futon. You are not living large, my friend. All right, we out. Uh, there's a basement, but I'm sure there's nothing too interesting in there. You typically don't find a lot of uh, interest in the first... Like, in the, specifically in the labs. I don't think there will be items we need in there. Do you want to fight, idiot? Or have I already fought you? I already fought you. What an idiot. What are the trainer tips on this day? Trainer tips. When a Pokemon appears in battle... Oh, it would be the one on the top left of your party. Jeez, I cannot read. I think that since I am on Thanksgiving break mode, my mind is gone. Do you want to battle? Pokemon I got with me are all grass type. I'm looking for some water type Pokemon and some fire types too. Okay. Let's see what we got here. An Alolan Rattata. We have just encountered our first Alolan specific Mon. Whew, I never thought it would be actually kind of. Eh, I'm not super excited about Alolan Rattata, but it's moderately exciting to run into one. I'm 90% sure you're living this peck. 90% sure. I just got out sped by this little thing. This little... Yo, speaking of Alolan Pokemon, why do they all inherit the Dark type? I was talking about this with friends earlier today. There's Alolan Raditza and Raticate. There's Meowth and Persian. And then there's the Grimer and Muck. And there's also uh, Marowak, who doesn't become a Dark type, but becomes a Ghost type. Why does everything on this island become just darker than its normal state? Not this. I need to open my bag. I mean, sure, I think Radita, Radita and Raticate kind of make sense, because I think they would have been dark originally had that been a typing. Or I think that it would have been, they would have received a ton of dark moves at least. This thing just broke out of a Pokeball and I'm upset. I could not be more upset that I just wasted a Pokeball on a Radita. Is it a slightly cooler Radita? Yeah, it is, but I just wasted a Pokeball on it. If you don't stay inside this ball, I'm going to end your life. Okay, good. I was about to end a life. I was about to take a life. Okay. Radix's data will be added to the Pokedex. What is it going to say? Are you going to tell me about yourself? Tell me about how you became a Lolan. Tell me about how you got accustomed to this island. Oh, that's cool. Congrats, you've, re you've registered a Pokemon in your Pokedex. This is a red letter day. I'm about to. S I'm about as red as anything. What? It's a red letter day, and I'm about as red as anything. Okay. When the sun goes down and the stars come out. I don't know the next line of that song. The universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. That's that's all I got. When the sun goes down, it becomes active. It runs around town on a chase for good food for the boss of its nest, Radicate. Okay. Okay, I feel you. Yeah, we're gonna give you a nickname. We are going to call you... What's something a little dark? I'm going to call you... Uh... 
You kind of look like Waluigi. That's what I'm gonna name you. Walu. I might not be spelling this right. I'm pretty sure it's spelled like it sounds, though, so we're just gonna ship it. Yep. I mean, I don't want this thing in my party. I'm not gonna use it, but it's cool that we caught it. Oh, I need I need to be able to break rocks here. I can't. So I was watching a video earlier on sort of the QR code scanning function, and it said, I, I don't know how it works, but the video showed people scanning QR codes. I'm gonna run from this one. The video showed like, oh, if you scan 10 QR codes a day, then you get to do an island scan and you can find Pokemon that don't even exist in the Alolan decks on an island. I, I'm probably not gonna do that for this playthrough just because I wanna use specifically Alolan Pokemon. And the video is about how to catch Johto starters, specifically Johto starters, which is really weird. But uh, if that's a thing, that's really cool that you can sort of, because I know you can scan QR codes to get uh, sort of information. Oh, I'm going to catch this thing. You can scan QR codes to get information about where Pokemon are and sort of um, where to find them. I, th I don't know what, I think it fills your dex entries, even if you haven't uh, encountered them or caught them. But if you scan 10 a day and then you get to catch something that doesn't exist in this game, that's really cool. That's a neat feature, I guess, is what I'm trying to... That's all I'm trying to get out, is that I saw this video and I don't know how legit it is or if it works because I didn't do any research on it, but it's a neat feature if it works. Also, a Wingull just busted out of a Pokeball and I'm upset. Why doesn't anything just want to stay wherever I place it? Just stay where I place you. All right, we got growled, so I'm assuming you can live another Leafage. Leafage has 40 PP. That's pretty good. I mean, I know it's a super basic... Oh, uh, is that a crit? No, how... I got growled. You lowered my attack. You lowered my already low attack. Now I'm mad. I'm not going to sit here and try and... I'm not. I'm done. Where's the trainer school at? I need to know. I'm going to go this way. It's not this way. Where's the trainer school at? Oh, the flag. Okay, we can just follow the flag. Cool, okay. Hold on a moment, let me show you the Pokemon Center first. When I say flag, I mean on the bottom screen there's a flag on my Rotom decks. I didn't clarify that at all, I just said the flag. This Pokemon Center is gorgeous. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she'll restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. Is that the PC? Yeah, you can also deposit P Pokemon in the PC here, or take them out. And at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that should help you during your trials. I'd take a look at it if I were you. What is this? Over there's the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk, holding strong since Gen 2. I read something nice in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what they serve. The cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I heard they also sell special treats that sometimes the staff have tips for try and sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. Trainer school, got it. I'm gonna heal my dudes up and then I'm gonna deposit some more dudes because I don't want them. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. You're up late. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, please. Thank you. How kind of you. Yes, take my Pokemon for a few seconds. Oh, this this animation's rad. That? That's cool. I like that a lot. Also, this isn't my typical Nurse Joy. This isn't the Nurse Joy I'm used to. Uh, I haven't posted pictures or anything that I know of. But I actually went as my, my girlfriend and I for Halloween. I know I'm super late to be talking about Halloween. We went as sort of like a couple's costume thing. It was the first time I've ever done anything like that. But she went as Nurse Joy and I went as Brock. And that's where, if you watched my Pokemon Y Wonderlock and you saw me put on heart glasses, that's where those came from. Uh, I had to wear those for our couple's pictures where I was so in love with her, so I had to have heart eyes. It was it was pretty cute though to be honest. It was it was it was cute. No regrets. Okay. Uh, what can I get from you? Uh, yeah, I'll take some pokeballs because I'm running pretty thin. I'll get eleven. Do we still get premier balls? Yes. Okay. So some things never change. Uh, I'll take three potions. 
I'm not gonna buy medicine just because I don't feel like it. I will buy one. I'll buy one escape rope. You just never know when you get in a cave and you don't want to be there any longer. I'm not gonna go talk to this cafe owner. That just seems like something I don't want to be doing currently. Okay. Is this the trainer school? Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a... What in the world? Is this Taurus about to charge us? Don't do it. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. But we're only supposed to go as far as the trainer school anyways. Well, just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come follow me. So, is the trainer school where trainers go to learn, or do trainers do the teaching? <laughs> Yo, this Rotom's sitting here talking to me, and it's incredible. Okay. Alright, what, what's up? Hey there, Vivid. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Okay. Professor... <clears throat> Professor Kukui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the ringer, Teach. Four trainers. You've got to beat four trainers here at school, Vivid. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah? Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this, the experience share, right? Yeah. Okay, so if this works the same way, and everything just gets bananas, then I'm probably going to keep it on for a while, but eventually our, po our team's going to be over-leveled for what we're doing. The trainers who take part in this lesson may be inside or outside of the school. You'll want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. All right, let the lesson begin. Okay, so part of me thinks that I should save this for the next episode, but that part of me is getting overruled, and I'm going to do this right now. So if this episode might end up being like 40 minutes, and let's hope that's okay with you. I didn't read this. He's talking about the trainer school, and once you fought a species of Pokemon, you'll get to see if it's like your attacks are strong or weak or just like kind of neutral against Pokemon. So find those four Pokemon trainers. You'll find them and battle them and beat them. Yo, this Rotom. This Rotom's the cutest thing in North America currently. Boy, you're awful close. Stand so close to me and I'll battle you. Is that what you want, huh? Is it? Yes. Square up. Also, I think I left the Picky Peck in my team. That was... I think I, I signed up, kind of subconsciously did that. I deposited a lot of things. I think I left the Picky Peck because I don't think I'm going to use it, but I'm not sure. It's not, it's not on my layout yet. It's not on my layout. It might be later. I just... I, I don't... Not interested. Alright, let's leafage this guy. Also, where do you get a Bonsai, fam? For some reason, I just really like Pseudo Wudo. I don't really know why. I just think it's a really cool Pokemon. You lowered my special defense, man. You got there. What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna Power Gym me? Because that would actually destroy me. To be honest with you, Power Gym would obliterate my life, probably. Oliver is getting all the experience. This is not Astonish. Oh, cool. We're just getting a diverse move pool yet. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take this. We'll get rid of Tackle. I feel like I just don't need it. The stab on Astonish makes it slightly stronger than Tackle, so we'll go with that. Yeah. Get up there, Picky Peck. I don't know if I'm going to use you yet, but you can gain some experience. You can get some levels. So, there's always a quick claw given. I feel like there's always a quick claw given away in trainer school. Yeah. I was gonna say, there's always someone in a trainer school that just gives you a quick claw. And there's always typically people that give you X items too. Are those items still in this game? X attack, X speed, X don't die. Yeah, okay, cool. So, what's this? Also, it kind of goes against everything I've ever known in my entire life to have to press A to enter doors in a Pokemon game. You, do you want to square up? Oh, that's the teacher. Uh, okay. I don't know why we had to black out that screen. Yo, is this an Alolan Slowpoke? Sleepy. Okay. Talking about Slowpoke's Yawn, I accidentally talked to you twice. Let me never do that again in my life. This is kind of the, this is the room I teach in, the computer lab. Yo, I just realized I'm in the Pokemon school and I'm a teacher. I should be teaching these idiots what to do. 
What do you want? Abilities or special skills? Come on, man. You gotta get your students more involved in this. Oh, this dude's little pup picked up a potion. Thanks, little dude. I mean, pickup's not a good ability, but you can talk about it. If you touch I, no, no, no I don't want to know about this. All Pokemon have some sort of ability, so I'm assuming that we're just getting a potion out of this room, right? I mean, it's cool. I'll take the free things. Everyone's been telling me to talk to absolutely everyone in this game because everyone in this game... Oh, okay, so I can't go upstairs. That's that's the point of this. I've been told to talk to everyone in this game because there's so much free stuff given away. Uh, What's in here? Does anyone want to fight me in this room? Talk to me, idiot. We occasionally ask Professor Kukui to run a special class of our school. He's done a great deal of research into Pokemon moves, after all. Uh, okay. Are you talking about move types? Petting my Pokemon makes me happy, too. Yeah, same. I'm done with there. I, I doubt anyone gives you anything in there. It's a bunch of toddlers. Unless they all have, uh, pickup mons. Okay, so we can go here. We've battled one trainer, so we have to fight four. So I'm assuming this is the second one, right? Yeah, definitely. I'll teach you the tactics in here at school by beating you with him. All right, come at me. Come on. This necklace is pretty rad, though. Youngster Joey? We already had a youngster Jimmy. Is this guy going to have a non-Alolan rat? Metapod. That's not a Radita. Why does a youngster Joey in a game have a Metapod? <sighs> that doesn't seem correct. Nothing about this seems correct. I'm going to take a drink. I'm going to take a drink because my voice is hoarse currently. Hashtag sponsor me smart water. Hashtag I drink your water a lot. Okay. Alright. The opposing Metapod faint. I'm really surprised that uh, Picky Pecky didn't level up off of that. $140? That is not much to be given me. Poisoning an opponent will slowly drain its HP and paralyzing him can prevent its attacks. Pokemon moves can have all kinds of effects, so watch out for them. So I've always thought it was kind of strange that uh, Burn halves attack, but Poison does nothing? Like, base poison. I mean, not toxic poison where it gets stronger. I think that's a fine effect. But I've always kind of thought that just, so poison, just the poison effect, something you can get from Poison Sting, I think that that should have special attack. Because there's no Intimidate. There's... Yo, Alolan Meowth looks really cool. Alolan Persian looks like trash. Anyways, there's no Intimidate for special attack. There's no, like, there's no status that has special attack. I've just always kind of wondered why that is. And that's my random thought of the moment. Oh, good. So it outspeeds us, and we're going to... This Is this even going to be a three hit? No. That's fine. We can get it in red so that we can for sure catch it. Everything in this generation is part dark. I just want to know where to catch a Grimer, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like I can definitely astonish it. It's going to let us astonish because it resists. It's not dark normal, right? Okay, thank goodness. Oh, that did much less than I thought it would. Oh, it flinched, though. All right, I think I think we're good. We can, we can catch it. If this Meow dodges a Pokeball, I'm going to be upset, though. I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Oh. Uh-uh. No. You do not get to do that. I'm gonna throw another Pokeball at you, and if you break out of this one, I'm I'm ending your life. But it's so cool, I have to I have to catch it. I can't end its life, I just can't. Meow it's cooler than Radita by a lot. Persian was actually pseudo busted in Gen One, so I'm I have a lot of good memories from Meowth and Persian. Okay, what are we naming it? It's a female. I know that much. This Pokedex entry screen. I know I've already said, but this screen is incredible. All right. Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon it is? Is that you caught, pal? When its delicate pride is wounded, or when the gold coin on its forehead is dirty, it flies into a hysterical rage. 
Yeah, I'm gonna give you a nickname. What are we gonna nickname you, though? You're just kind of like this evil little sassy... Oh, that's what we're gonna name you. Sassy the Cat. If you know where that is from, leave it in the comment section down below. Because you are also old, like I am. Sassy has been added to your party. I might use this thing, but if I find a Grimer, I is I really our uh, Grimer here. I want to I want a Lowland Grimer so bad. I don't necessarily like the way a Lowland Grimer looks, but a Lowland Muck is gas. I don't know if people understand that term. I think it's a magic term, but gas is if it, it's basically the same thing as me saying something's fire. Just to clarify, because it's something I'm going to say a lot. Okay, I'm gonna see what all's in this grass, just because. I know that we're still, I think we're still technically in Route 1, but it seems like the patches of grass even have different Pokemon. Yeah, like, you can't find a Magnemite anywhere else. Should I catch this thing? I don't think I'm going to use it, but I should probably catch it. Uh, yo, I don't have anything to damage you with. Yeah, no, I'm just going to run. Do I have... You don't resist ghosts anymore, right? Yeah, we can, we can, we can do a little damage. We can do a little chip shots. Oh, that's awful. That makes me wanna... Yeah. That makes me want to not be here anymore. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I have nothing to damage this Magnemite with. So, we can find Magnemite, Meowth... What else can we find in this grass? No. I just wanna know what we can find. I know that there's got to be something, like, you have to, I, I, I just, like, I'm kind of, I heard that you can catch a Alolan Grimer early in the game. So I don't know, but I'm assuming it's on Route 1. And I'm assuming it's in this section. No. I'm super tired of these Magnemite, though. Okay. I'll go for three more encounters. Three more encounters, and then I'm done here. Because I still have people to fight. I still have trainers to battle. Come on. Yo, is Magnite a common encounter here? It's kind of strange. I mean, Magnite's a cool Pokemon to get this early in the game, to be honest with you. But it's not something... I want to use only Alolan Mons. And if I had anything to damage it with, I'd probably catch it. To be honest, I would catch it. But I, I just... It's going to take me a million years to get it down to the yellow. Oh, this is making me hate everything. This is making me hate everything. Alright. One more. One more encounter. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. You're cool, Alolan Magnemites. You're cool. Uh, did I say Alolan Magnemite? I did. That's not a thing. It's like I'm shiny hunting. This is the equivalent of shiny hunting. Was there an item down here I didn't grab? No, it was on the other side. Okay. Well, this is an incidental encounter, but whatever. Yo. Legitimately was just going down to grab an item, and we run into the exact Pokemon I thought lived here. Okay. You better not die to this peck. You better not die to this peck. Okay, cool. Oh, now you're not dying to anything, ever. That's upsetting. You better stay in the ball, too. Yo, Alolan Grimer's so cool. What move did you choose? Bite? Does he already have Bite? Please don't let this pet crit. Don't let this pet crit. Okay, alright, we're catching you. Poison gas, avoid it. Alright, sweet. Okay. Okay, all right. Thank you. See, I was I was pretty sure Alolan Grimes were here. I was pretty sure because I I've heard like I say I've heard it's things I've read on Twitter slash talking to friends that you can catch and yo Quinn just learned Echo Voice. It's uh I've heard that you can catch them early and I knew it wasn't on the earlier routes because it just wasn't fitting. And then when I saw Magnemite, when I think Magnemite, I think industrial Pokemon. So then I was pretty sure that it was here. And I think. 
Uh, I'm just super excited about that. This is, this is a party member. This is going directly on the layout. Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon it is? The crystals on Grimer's body are lumps of toxins. If one falls off, lethal poisons leak out. That's intense. Yes, we're going to give you a nickname, but what are we going to call you? Uh, Ivan. Ivan Ooze. That, if you know what that is from, let me know, because you are also as old as I am. <laughs> or give or take. Give or take three years. That's a rough guess. If you know what who Sassy the Cat are, or Ivan Ooze are, leave that in the comment section down below, and then tell me your age. Because if you know those things, I'm 90% sure that you're within three years of my age. Okay. So... We have two trainers left to fight. Oh, sweet. Item. Yeah, I'll take it. I will take a potion all day of the week. Yeah, I assume there'd be one over here. I've been waiting here for you because the teacher told me to. If you beat my Pokemon, I'll give you a simple but very important lesson. I'm gonna give you a lesson. I will have you know, I am not to be trifled with. Young athlete, though. Hiromi. That's a cute name. Picky Peck. Also, since when did we start labeling trainers by age age groups slash uh, what they are? I feel like she could have just been athlete Hiromi. I mean, it's really cool that there's sort of that added level of depth. But instead of just being athlete Hiromi, she's young athlete Hiromi. Oh, I should have led with my Grimer. I got to put my Grimer at the front of the party. Me. Oh, I forgot. We're weak to those. It's okay. We outspeed. We're gonna we're gonna pick up the KO right now. All right, didn't make myself look like an idiot. Picky Peck's a dope little bird. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I, I just don't know if I want to use it. I'm pretty sure. I, I wish I need to look up the name of the dancing Pokemon. I think it starts with an O. I think it starts with an O R specifically. But then I just don't remember anything after that. The rest of your team gained experience. All right, awesome. We defeated. Was it Youth or Young? I think it might have been Youth Athlete. Okay, so we have one more to battle, and I think that there are sort of like tennis courts. Oh, what? I have no clue what she said, honestly. I should have read that. To be fair, it's probably not a tip that's going to be life-changing for me. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I'm pretty sure I saw like little battle arenas when I was over here. I will take a potion too. Alright, so we are going to square up against this dude. Does he turn around to follow me? Yo, am I making him dizzy? Alright. Uh, I need to heal my squad up real quick. I'm gonna use Dose Potions. Because this guy is the last guy. So. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna put Ivan up front. Why can't I uh, switch him? Oh, do you have to press Y? Oh, that's weird. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, there. Now it made sense. That's new, right? Even in X and Y and Auras, didn't you just click on it and say switch? You didn't just hit Y, right? Am I wrong? You want to know why I want to be the strongest? Because it's cool to be strong. Duh. <laughs> oh, this dude's an idiot. It's not cool to be strong, man. You've got to have faith in your Pokemon or something like that. Rising Star Joseph. I'm about to extinguish this star. We led with the same Pokemon, man. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to prove you wrong. Oh, you're one level ahead of me. That's upsetting. What do we have? Bite, poison gas, hardened pound. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch out, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna cause you don't I mean, I'm assuming that you don't have any moves I don't yet, unless this thing learns, I don't know, Poison Jab at level 8, which would be upsetting. Oh, this is going to be a long battle. Let's strap in for this one. Let's strap in. This is not going to end anytime soon. See, this is why I need to diversify my team. Uh, that, what are we looking at here? Like a 6-hit a KO? 6-5. That's 5, right? Looks like, looks like roughly 20%. Yeah. Okay, so we're poisoned now. He's got the residual damage on us. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of set my DS down, just kind of kick back, you know, just enjoy this beautiful game. 
All right, please don't have a potion because that would absolutely ruin my night. That would ruin my night. Also, please give my Alolan Grimer a level. Good call on the five hit KO. I was good with my uh, my Poke Math there. We are still winning this damage race. Okay, we're good. We are good. This should be it. Don't use a potion. Night 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 night. Oh, I'm so bad at this now. Now I look like an idiot. To be fair, I think he's sitting at roughly 0.6 HP, but still. Man, I really thought that was going to be a 5 hit. Okay. It looks like it was not going to drop entirely, and then I was just going to be mind blown. Alright. Ivan gained 115. Yeah, we didn't even get a level. Sassy gained a level, but Ivan didn't. It's extremely frustrating, but you're just stronger than me. That's what's up. You knew. You knew. Now that wasn't cool at all. Maybe I should aim for being pretty instead. But fine, whatever. Yeah, go be a beauty vlogger, man. I can admit when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward. Even, take this technical machine. Is it... Oh, I was gonna say, is it gonna be the TM for a return? Work up. Okay, first things to know about TMs. Technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give Pokemon a new move in a flash. But if a Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then too bad. You're up a creep, pal. Second thing to know about TMs. You can use a TM as many times as you want on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift for me, huh? Oh, can we not have a bunch of cutscenes? Oh, that's the school bell. Attention all students. Would Vivid, ple would Vivid please come to the office on second floor? Vivid to the office, please. What a terrible thing did you- What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Nothing. That's what you say. Alright. So, uh, this episode ran really long because I just wanted to do this trainer school challenge. But, uh, that being said, if you've played along with me this long, then thank you so much. Because I know this episode is longer than most people like to pay attention to or like to watch. So if you're here, I extra thank you. I love you so much. Um, and please, if you're enjoying this, then demolish that like button down below. And if you're new here or you're just kind of lurking, then please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Mm. Go ahead and click that subscribe button because realistically, all that's going to happen is you're going to see my face a little more. And let's be serious, that's a good thing. Especially now that we were playing Pokemon Moon. We are playing the new generation of Pokemon and it is incredible. So everything kind of is done here. You know, I'm kind of done here and I gotta leave. Bye.